we're diving deep into the heart of Transformers, not the robots in disguise, but the ones that keep our world powered up. Specifically, we're peeling back the layers of a Transformer nameplate. Now, this might sound a bit technical, but trust me, by the end of this video, you'll be reading these like a pro. So, let's energize our brains and get started. Alright, so here we have the nameplate of a three-phase Transformer. This little plate is packed with crucial info that tells us everything we need to know about our Transformer. Let's break it down. First up, the Transformer number. Think of this as the Transformer's ID card. It's unique to each unit and is super useful for tracking, maintenance, or when you need to get in touch with the manufacturer. Next, we have the manufacturing year, 2014 for our Transformer. This date is essential for knowing the age of the Transformer and planning its life cycle, including maintenance schedules. Then, there's the power rating, coming in at 160 kVA for this beast. This tells us the maximum amount of power it can handle, which is crucial for ensuring it meets the demands of the system it's powering. Frequency is up next, listed at 50 Hz. This matches the power grid frequency in many parts of the world, indicating our transformer is designed to operate in those regions. Now, let's talk about voltage. We've got a high side voltage of 11,000 volts and a low side voltage of 400 volts. This tells us the voltage levels the transformer can handle and step down from and to, making it a key player in ensuring the electricity is at the right level for our homes and businesses. Rated currents next, 8.4 amps for the high voltage side and a whopping 231 amps for the low voltage side. This info helps in designing the system's conductors and ensuring safety and efficiency. With the number of phases being three, it confirms that this transformer is perfect for three-phase power systems, which are common in industrial and commercial settings for their efficiency and power consistency. Temperature limits are also crucial. With maximum ambient temperature at 45 degrees Celsius, maximum winding temperature at 55 degrees Celsius, and maximum oil temperature at 45 degrees Celsius, these limits ensure the transformer operates safely without overheating. The connection group, noted as Dyn11, tells us about the transformer's winding connections and phase shift, important for system compatibility and ensuring the power flows correctly. Cooling method, ONAN, or oil natural air natural, means our transformer self-cools by circulating oil and using the natural airflow. No extra energy is needed for cooling, making it efficient and reliable. Lastly, the tap changer data shows us that our transformer can adjust its voltage output with 7 taps, ranging from 11,550 volts to 990 volts, on the high voltage side. This flexibility is key for maintaining stable voltage levels, despite the demand changes or other system variations. And there you have it. Every piece of data on this nameplate tells a story about our Transformer's capabilities, requirements, and how it keeps the lights on in our world. It's like the Transformer's resume, and now you know how to read it. Remember, whether it's powering up a city or just keeping your lights on, understanding the equipment that makes it happen is the first step to mastering the electric world around us. Don't leave empty hands and check the high-rated products in the video description, these are affiliate links and this is how you support me, thanks for that. Thanks for tuning into Electricity Frenzy. If you found this electrifyingly informative, hit that like button, subscribe, and charge up the comments with your thoughts or questions. Stay powered up, and I'll see you in the next video.